So today's video, I'm going to be talking about four music making apps for iPhone that you can use to get your music production started, making beats if you don't have anything else but just a phone. Let's get it. What is up everybody, I am Legend and welcome to the next episode of Track Out Tuesday. In this episode, the first video of Mobile March is what I'm calling it. We're going to be talking about the foundation of how to create your music using just your phone. And that's going to be highlighting four different apps that I love to use when making music on my phone from the beat to the vocals. The cool thing about this is these are free apps. These are all free apps you can download. Like, yes, there are some features in there that you have to pay for to get certain kits and things like that. But these apps to download are 100% free and you can use them on your iPhone. All right, so we're gonna dive into the iPhone right now and show you all the apps that I love to use. So this is my music suite, my music production suite where I store all of my music making apps that I have on my phone, everything that pertains to writing music, to producing, to recording, it's all gonna be in here. Now, I'm not gonna highlight all of these apps because I don't really use all of them necessarily, but the first four in this particular folder are what I want to highlight in this video. The first one you guys know really well, which is GarageBand. Now, GarageBand holds a very special place in my heart because I used GarageBand starting out on my Mac when I first got it back in 2009, and they were still doing the iWork. You had to install the program with a CD, and you had to buy it and all these things. But as time progressed, GarageBand became a free music production software that was included on every single Mac that you purchased. GarageBand definitely has so many features that I think are valuable to us musicians, to us vocalists who are recording, and it makes the creative process so much simpler which I always show in my videos as you guys know a mobile app for the most part is not going to be as um, extensive as the desktop app because of limitations with screen real estate and processing power and different things like that so this is kind of like a watered down version of the desktop app of GarageBand but within this application on your phone you can still do so many things such as importing your own track making your own beats recording your vocals stacking vocals having multiple tracks you know, I don't I, I've produced a lot of tracks as you can see in my recent garage band files And I never ran into an issue where I reached a limit I love this application because it's so easy to use if I select one of my projects here Now the great thing about garage band for iOS is not only can you click this plus button down here and add in like a keyboard or some drums and play directly from your screen so basically your phone is your keyboard your phone is your drum pad um, I'll just add something here You listen to that shaft key right there, you know what I'm talking about? So not only can you use GarageBand's screen right here on your phone to play instrumentation, you don't even need a, a MIDI controller or any kind of connection device. You know, you can just use the screen as you wish. I know with iPads, you can plug in a MIDI controller if you have a USB to USB-C cable that plugs into the new iPad Pros. And you can play directly onto your iPad using something like this Arturia MIDI controller back here. You have the functionality of a regular DAW to be able to use a piece of hardware with the phone itself or the iPad itself, whatever you're going to use. You can plug in audio interfaces to this that are built specifically for an iOS device, whether that's something like an iRig or it's a legit audio interface like the one behind me where you plug in via USB-C and you can record with a legitimate microphone like this. So it's like you get professional quality gear that you can use with your mobile device you can uh, use different loops within GarageBand this is another thing that I find really valuable about mobile production is because the screen real estate is so small unless you have a piece of hardware that where you're actually playing things I find it better for me to use loops within this software to inspire an idea bring that session from GarageBand iOS into my Mac GarageBand build on the idea when I actually have a large keyboard to play with and in me saying that I basically want to say that GarageBand has a plethora of loops and samples that you can use built into the software it's all free but it's really well produced type stuff if you're somebody who doesn't have uh, the money to buy, you know, all this equipment like a machine or a drum pad or something like a keyboard and a piece of software to go with that, but you happen to have an iPhone, it comes free. Now the next application is by Amplify, I think is what the company is called. They make a lot of really dope like groove boxes and loopers for iOS devices, one called Blocks Wave. 
It's got drums, uh, a melodic section, FX, vocals, percussion, bass, and then like an auto generator where it just kind of like generates random stuff. But this application is much like the next two that I'll demonstrate as well, but it's basically just an idea generator. It's, it's a way to, like you download different loops, you download different samples from that, you can export those loops, you can export those samples, change the tempos, you know, add in what you want to add in, basically layer things on top of different things and export it as a WAV file or a session file for Ableton if you have that. For instance, if I want to just use just my phone, I can, let's say, come in here, we'll start a new project, and I'll do like a, a full breakdown of this application, you know, later on and show the, the dopeness that it has, but let's just click auto. So you just add an ideas, layer it on top, We've got a melodic and a drum, let's add some percussion, oh okay, uh, 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 uh. and I'll add some vocals next. Do so you see how easy it was to create that? It's the same thing as using something like Arcade or Splice samples and loops or Lander, but how I would recommend using it is you find something to build a beat around. That's what I always love to use loops for. So like we have this right here. I can solo different instruments. And you play them all at once as well. There's a bunch of different features in here also like I mean, this is the, the library section where you can look up different categories to find different loops. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. You also have this looper uh, menu right here where you can slice up your sample here, chop it up in different ways to have it play at different sections. Um, you can mess with the slip, which I think is the positioning. Yeah, so if I slid it over like this, you know, you do all that stuff, but let's go ahead and reset it. The next one, it has a similar functionality, but it's called Launchpad. And this one is actually more like a live performance type of application where you play it live, you record it, and then you export it like that. So if I want to show you how that works. So here, here here's uh, what's cool about all these apps. Blockswave has it as well, uh, but Launchpad, I'm gonna demonstrate here. They have different sound packs, which is basically different loops, different samples, different kits that you can use to build uh, whatever sound you're going for. So it's like, if you have a specific genre that you're trying to make, if it's hip hop, if it's house, if it's dance. These are Launchpad products from Soundpack. So we click from Soundpack because these are gonna be all of our templates and we can look through here's the one that i just purchased the found sound journey italian chill we'll click that and you have this entire launch pad which is kind of like a drum pad but it's loopers so basically what you can do is you can select let's say let's start with this green right here i don't know what's gonna what instrument it is yet but we'll select it it's the drums right we got our drums then we can add the next more percussion right uh, more percussion right hey more percussion uh, what's the next one so you get all these different loops basically if i stop this what you're doing is when you select one it's going to loop whatever it is selected on that row okay now let's add something else Pretty nice. Add something else, melodic. Ooh, I like that. Hey, 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 hey. So, you guys see what I'm talking about. It's like very easy to, to start producing something. Now, the thing about this is, like I said, it's very performative, if that's a word, I don't even know. Uh, you are going to want to record what idea you're coming up with. So it's kind of like you're just vibing, you're kind of going with whatever it is. And once you record whatever sequence you record with this launch pad, it's going to export and you can use that to build upon something else in GarageBand or use it by itself. So I'll show you an example. So record, and as soon as I press 
something is going to start recording. So. Let's go. Hey. Uh, three. Take the drums out. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, I like that. So once you do that, you go to the recordings tab and then you see Future Sound Journey Italian Chill. It's a minute and 14 seconds. That's literally what I just recorded. You click that and you play it to get a preview. It's gonna play back everything that I just did within Launchpad. If I wanted to export this file that I just did, so like my little jam session, it's really great for like, just like jam sessions if you wanna do that as well. But um, you can export it to SoundCloud, YouTube as audio or video, which is, Interesting. So that's what's really cool about Launchpad and uh, you can also add different effects to whatever your session is. If you're playing something. So it's a, it's a pretty cool app to use. And that's why I like that as well. The last one that I wanna talk about is one called Groovebox. These are all made by the same people, by the way. Groovebox is more like a uh, synthesizer, I guess you could say, where you can make your own like little synth loops and things like that, drum loops. So I got a new project. I was digging the Poly 8. Uh, we'll find. I kinda like that. So right now it's playing this count of A, A, uh, you can mess with the different um, parameters here. So distortion. If I were starting from scratch, I can actually program this to do whatever I wanted it to do. So like I press the record button and go. And it will play that back in this loop. But right now I'm just gonna use the one that they provided. We can add something else. Like I can export this just as this if I wanted to, or I can add to this a drum box for instance. Interesting. I like that. All this stuff is basically playing into a different piece of software, which is GarageBand for iOS or uh, whatever other DAW that you want to use. Beatmaker 3, I think, is a really good one. Those are the main four apps that I use on my, my phone when I'm making beats. Um, the music production side, I mean, this is Track Out Tuesday after all. Stick around for the next video. Uh, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And with that being said, my girlfriend is texting me, so I, I'm trying to text her back. And uh, yeah, stay guys.